these guys decided they were going to go wild camping in Penavan and I'll gate crash the party. You know what they say, two's company and all that. <laughs> so Grant and Jenna, Grant you know, Jenna's new. Um, we've come up to one of the, one of the, the, the mountains in Penavan, or near Penavan, Penavan's over there. Um, we're going to do a wild camp tonight. The sky looks like it's going to be an absolute belter. So we're um, looking forward to this. It should be really, really cool. So we're going to pitch the tent just on the edge of... Uh, Grant, what's this bit called? Is this, is this mountain got a name? Uh, Tap. I shouldn't have asked, should I? Craigwine Tap, apparently. I'll write that in the bottom. <laughs> so this will be a nice place for sunrise because in the morning, the sun will be rising in that direction. We'll be able to get some nice colour. Um, fingers crossed. And then sunset is over that direction, so we'll get some nice colour in the evening as well. So this will be really, really cool. And Jenna's really excited about being on a vlog, aren't you? <laughs> what a fantastic evening. We've got about an hour before sun, uh, sunset. Tents are all set up there. Grant and Jenna have taken the dogs for a wander over there. Um, yeah, all, all sorted, all good. I mean, look at the view. Sunset over there is just, I mean, you probably can't see that. It's just ridiculously bright, but it's absolutely amazing. Really, really gorgeous evening. Uh, it's quite cold now, the wind's picking up a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it'll be a lot colder tonight. Still snow on the ground, I can't believe it. It's like t-shirt weather when we left the car. Right then, we're inside the tent. So I've got a new sleeping bag. I've got a Rab, that's a Rab Ascent 500, I think that's called. Uh, it's probably only gonna have another month left out of that because it's gonna start getting a lot warmer. It'll probably be too warm for that because that's a, a, a minus rated sleeping bag. Um, I've got everything still in my F-stop bag, which is here. Got all the, uh, I've got the Fujifilm X-H1 with me, the Fujifilm 10-24, that's got the polarizer on it. And I've got, the XF5140 zoom lens as well. So all covered there. I've also bought my filter pouch as well, which has got all my filters in. I don't actually need them all. Uh, what else have I got? A dry bag with all my food in it. Uh, a little bag with all my camera stuff in it, like batteries. Jet boil, can't go anywhere without this. Absolutely amazing bit of kit that is. And uh, all my washed off in that one. I've got, uh, yeah, still on the Xped down at light five thingy. Um, so yeah, that'll be uh, nice to keep. There's still a bit of snow around, so I imagine it's still gonna get quite cold up here tonight. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's always a new tent as well. Um, I've I've still got my um, uh, Terra Nova Voyager, but this is Rock Cell, uh, what is it? Crooks Storm, I think it's called. Crooks X2 Storm. Yeah, Crooks X2 Storm sounds right. Uh, amazing tent, it's like a drum on the inside, so it's ro really, really rigid. I've given it a test and it doesn't seem to move at all in the wind, so a bit more space inside it as well. So, yeah, loads, loads more room in this. Really, really cool. That Look at this for a view. That's my tripod on the floor. Oh yeah, that's the Siru uh, T1204X. Absolutely amazing bit of kit that is. I'm enjoying, loving that, that tripod. I've just bought a new head for it as well. This is my new tripod head. Um, this is the, I think it's called the K10. Really, really nice because it's got the gain control built into the knob there as well. So you've already got one, one control on the side of it, which is good in the dark. And there is my view. So that is where sunrise is going to be tomorrow morning. Hopefully that will be absolutely epic. Well, I wouldn't call this a disaster. But the sun's gone down and I was waiting for it and I thought I had my composition. And as, as the sun went down, the light just disappeared. I mean, obviously, you expect it to. I bracketed the shot. I'm going to run back up there. But the foreground just didn't light up anywhere near as much as I thought it was going to. So I'm running around trying to look for something else. Uh, hoping that when the... You see it down there? You just about make it out. The sun's gone down now, so I think... We'll start to get a bit of colour in the sky, so I'm going to try and find another foreground that a bit more interesting than the one I had. Because as soon as the light went down, it kind of just disappeared. <sighs> Can't predict it, can you? It's still gorgeous. 
I think I might have five minutes before the sun completely disappears, so I'm going to try and get another shot now, get set up again. <laughs> it's all good fun. Whoa, it's gone really cold. A bit, a bit gutted really, because the light was gorgeous earlier, really harsh, but you know, too harsh for for photos really. So I thought I'd wait for the sunset, and um, the sunset has just killed the light. I thought there might be a bit, you know, see it now. It's absolutely gorgeous over there if you can see that. But at the minute, I'm just doing a um, bracketed shot, three stop bracket. Polarizer's on there. I'm at f uh, f11, ISO 200, and it's about you know just under half a second. Uh, bracketed and focus stacked so I've got the camera down here that would help if you can see the camera so the camera's down here focus on these rocks here and I'm just going to move the focal point over to the mountain to the right which is that one there before there there it is um yeah so that's on a two second timer just bracketing them and then I'll merge the two together to give me nice depth of field um there is still really really nice color in the sky over there if you can see that Grant and Jenna and the pups have just wandered up there now, so I'm going to run over them. Over the, run over them? I'm going to run over to them. There we are. And uh, try to catch up with them. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back in the tent. Bit of a bit of a wander. Um, managed to get some astro shots with the uh, Samyang 12mm f2 lens on there. Um, all at 3200 ISO, uh, about six six and a half seconds exposure at uh, f2.8. It's quite a bit of fun. Um, the moon's still out at the minute, so I'm going to give it. It's about half past ten, eleven o'clock. So I'm going to give it a couple of hours and perhaps wake up at like three in the morning. I'm going to check now with photo pills or something, see what time, or the dog of Zemmerfer, see what time the uh, moon sets. And then the Milky Way should be visible just there. Uh, that'd be quite cool if I could manage to run out. Boots on, grab the camera, run out, grab a quick shot of the Milky Way. That'd be awesome because I've never done that before. Uh, it's nice and warm in the tent though, luckily. It's freaking freezing outside. So uh, wind's not so bad though. It's only it's probably about 10 mile an hour wind. So. It'd be nice if it stays that way, nice and peaceful. So yeah, gonna chill out early this night. I'm gonna a couple of sips of me whiskey <laughs> and uh, and chill out. So see you in a bit. Whiskey for breakfast. <laughs> oh, I need a coffee desperately. Oh, it was cold last night. It was really cold. It must have been about minus eight with the wind. Uh, the wind's died down now, luckily, so it might be a nice morning. So I'm going to get out as soon as I can prise myself out of the sleeping bag. I'm gonna get out and have a wander around. It's uh, yeah, about 40 minutes before sunrise, so I better get shifted. <laughs> Well, I'm a bit devastated. Oh, jumps out to get the coffee. My jet boil was just caught fire. <laughs> I said, throw it out of the tent. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. It did light up a bit last night. It was sparking up around the side. So, just talking to Grant there. He's up bright and early with his coffee. And um, mine looks like it might have a slight fault with it or something. I don't know. It just flames started gushing outside of it. And I couldn't turn it off. <laughs> I just threw it out of the tent. Um, so standing back because it's gas and it's areas, it might go boom. <laughs> what an eventful morning. <laughs> oh, don't think I'm getting any decent photographs this morning. The sun sunlight was, was nice, just at like about an inch <laughs> of the sun coming through. So I managed to get a couple of shots. I don't think they're anything special, but you know, over there, on the other hand, is an inversion. So you run over here, I'll show you, inversion from over there, all the way round, point out between their mountains there as well, all the way round, look. So now the sun's 
go on from over there, I'm going to grab the 50 to 140 and try and pick out some of the details here. Maybe I'll get a bit of colour over there in a second. A um, bit of pink appearing in the sky over there. So yeah, could be nice. I've just wandered along the uh, the edge of the or side of the mountain, really, just to keep an eye on that inversion over there, because the light started to hit it. I've been sat here for about 20 minutes waiting for the sun to go high enough through them thick clouds, just to give me some light on these mountains here. So I've got some light on the one on the right. I'm, I'm really hoping I'd get some light clipping all three with the inversion as well. Let me just about make that out. Uh, but it'd be really nice. I love the way the clouds wrap themselves around the mountains, and the inversion is absolutely stunning. So I'm just at f11 with the 5140 uh, lens on the X-H1 and just waiting really, just giving it, just taking a, a couple of shots every couple of minutes, chilling out. Shame I haven't got a coffee, that would be really, really nice. Arr. So uh, yeah, awesome, awesome morning, but grab these couple of shots, fingers crossed we'll get some light on them, on them hills there as well and that'll be awesome. I don't know if you'll be able to make out very clearly, but in the background there, it looks like Everest or something, because it's just, it's just a lump of clouds, but for some reason the tops of them have caught like the Inuk mountain form and they've caught white. So I've just got the, um, the zoom lens and just zoomed in. Probably gonna get a square crop out of that there. It looks really awesome because there's lovely layers of the inversion going up to it. So I think it'd be really, really nice. I've just got that at F11. Same, same settings pretty much as that with the polarizer on. Um, yeah, just pointing out, flipping amazing. Wow, what a morning. Could stay here all day. Such a shame we've got to go to work. Grant and Jenna have already left. I obviously did too much dilly-dally in trying to take that cloud inversion photograph. <laughs> it was really, really nice. I hope they didn't mind me buggering off. Um, thanks so much for watching the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I hope the pictures come out good. Um, I better keep this short, otherwise it's gonna be like a two hour vlog or something like that. <laughs> but uh, no, I appreciate all the subscription and all the kind comments everybody's been leaving. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and look forward to seeing you again on the next trip. Take care, thanks for watching.